show real quick how I go through uh, cutting bands, band sets, and tying them together. So we'll start off with this piece right here. It's just a little thin piece of plexi. I cut it to shape. It's uh, I mark the square corner on it. It's right there. I don't know if you can see that little mark. But it's 3 quarters inch here, half inch over here, uh, and it is eight and a half inches long. That's how I like my bands. Total length, eight and a half inches. So I've cut a piece of, uh, I'm rocking TheraBand black. Uh, not TheraBand black, uh, Simple Shot black. That's what I shoot. Uh, I know a lot of people are concerned about more efficient or snappier uh, band material. I don't get caught up in that business. I'm more concerned about consistency. Uh, as long as it's the same, I'm fine. I don't need it to go. I'm not hunting, so I just need it to perform. This shoots about 220 feet per second with 3 8 inch steel, which is plenty good for me to punch a hole in some paper. So, I've already pre-cut this to the length of my bands. So I press that on there, use a roller knife. And then you just have to, because it's tapered, you switch it. Line it back up. Try and keep the roller square or perpendicular. And that is how I do that. And I'll show you the next step here as soon as I cut some of these. We're going to tie up a band set here. I've got my uh, Dick Riley jig set up. These uh, clamps have some holes drilled in them that correspond with the screws on top here. So, taking a. I shoot uh, over the top, so I just do a, a bifold. I don't do the, uh, the trifold. So, I go through from the inside, pull some through. And then uh, you kind of want you want the same amount through on each side. So I have this mark here that I have determined is this mark right here. So I just hold it up there. When it reaches that, I know I've got enough band material through. Pinch it around. Put in the clamp. Put one clamp there. Put the other clamp. Stretch and tie there, or stretch and pull. So let's see, there you go. So it looks like that. And then let's see if I get this so you can see it. All right, there's just gonna be a constrictor knot. Just up and over, through like that. Get it how you want it. Not overly tight, but snug. And then you do the same on the other side. So, punch it through. And you want to make sure that uh, if I'm not paying attention or whatever, you want to make sure that the bands are kind of oriented the same way. And occasionally you'll get one facing the wrong way with one band set up and one, one band up, one band down. And it actually doesn't really affect how it shoots for me, but I do like them to be the same. Clamp. Clamp.
there you go. So now you got a band set that can be used with uh, oculars plugs or uh, clips or wrap and tuck. But I shoot uh, with the binding post method, so I'm going to punch holes in here, and I'll show you two variations of how to do that next. Okay, so we're going to put a small slit in this band, and how I do it is, I line it up here, let's see if you can see this yet, I line it up right here, center it on a line here so I can kind of catch the center, and I fold over one quarter inch, and then I just hold it down like that, see that? Yeah. and then I just take my sharp knife, There it is. And now that's ready for see, I can't see that. that's ready to fit on a binding post. And I'll do the other side too. So push it over, center, fold it in half, take a knife. And the slit doesn't have to be particularly long. And there you go, and that oh, there you go, and that'll be enough to uh, fit on a binding post. Other than that, I'll mark it, and I will use a uh, a hole punch. But that's how I make band sets. So here's a, a look at the at the uh, the Dick Riley banding jig, kind of set up ready for travel. Uh, everything fits inside it, your scissors, the clamps, pegs, it's got room for, I keep, you know, pre-cut band sets and pouches can go in here. And usually I have, I usually have just a bunch of string, just wrap up a few feet of string in there. And that's everything I need. Fits real nice, fits in my, uh, my range bag. So if I'm going to like a, a shoot for the day or I'm going to be camping for a few days, I for sure take this with me. I like how it works and that it's all contained and easy and ready to go.